Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a monthly favourites video. I really hope that you guys are excited for today's video because I'm so excited to be showing you guys everything that I have been loving throughout April and this month. I don't actually think I did one in April, so this is kind of like a joint one. So if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. And yeah, we're gonna get straight into it and I really hope you enjoy. So I've actually got a lot of products this month, guys, to show you that I have been absolutely obsessed with. So the first item that I'm gonna show you is something that you might have seen if you watched my latest vlog, and it is this eye cream. It is so good. Now, I actually think I received this in a glossy box ages ago, and I didn't try it until recently, but I've been obsessed with it. It has become part of my evening skincare routine, and it's the AHC Essential real eye cream for face it says it's concentrated eye cream for the whole face so you actually can use it across your whole face but I only use it underneath my eyes if you do want to see how I apply my skincare at the moment then definitely watch that vlog because I do mention this but it is just so nice and the difference that it makes to my under eye is incredible it makes it look so much brighter it reduces any like dark circles any bags I just love it so much now I don't actually know where you can buy this, so I'm gonna be really sad when this runs out. I should probably have a look. So if I can find it online, I will leave it in the description box below as always. This is just a little 10 mil one, so it's gonna be really easy for me to travel with as well if I have it in my hand luggage, which I probably won't. I'll probably have it in my main luggage, but everyone loves a bit of skincare on the plane, so if I do decide to, I can put it in my hand luggage. It says you can use it on the whole face for a youthful appearance and resilient skin. So as I said, I literally just apply this. I apply like four little dots underneath my eye and I apply it there and sort of on the corner of my eye as well. And I just really, really have been loving this. Next thing I have been loving are these eyelashes. Now they're in a little case because I actually threw the box away. I am trying to stop keeping junk that I don't need and I tend to keep packaging of things. Is anyone else like that? I really find it difficult to chuck packaging away and I don't know why. So I have actually thrown the packaging away. I put my foot down with this one. Um, so it's just in my little case. Actually, this is a really handy little case that I have had for so long. It's a Sosu Lashes case and it has three little compartments and it's so cute. Again, this is really good for traveling and I'm obsessed with this. I've just had it for so long that I never think to mention it. Um, but the ones that I like at the moment are these bottom ones. They are Isla lashes and they're like the corner ones. So it's kind of half of your eye. They are so nice. I'm really into corner lashes at the moment, if you can't tell. I feel like it makes my eyes look less cluttered. Does that make sense? When I wear like full strip lashes, although I absolutely love them, I feel like this gives a bit more of a natural look, which I love. My camera battery is flashing red, everybody. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully it's in the same place as it was before. But as I was saying, I have just really been loving corner lashes and it kind of just makes my eyes look a little bit, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I just really like them. I can't remember what these ones are called, but I will link them down below. They are just so wispy and they just look really natural. The band is actually really thin as well, so it's really easy to apply and I've just been loving them. Like, look at the little, look how wispy they are. They're just amazing. And I'll also link down below if I can find the link for the case as well, because this is fab. Another Isla product that I've been loving, and I've actually been loving it for years. Like, I've been using this product for so long now, and I really love it, is the Isla Dye Brow. Now, I've probably mentioned this before on my channel. I think I have probably mentioned it in vlogs when I've tinted my eyebrows, but my eyebrows, I kid you not, are so blonde. So I literally have to tint my eyebrows for them to be visible. So this is the one that I really like. It is the dark brown one. I literally leave this on for not long at all. I literally leave it on for probably a minute because if I leave it on for too long, they go really dark and it doesn't look right. So I literally leave it on for a minute and then wipe it off. And if I feel like I need a little bit more, I'll just do it that way. I kind of apply 
bits at a time because I don't want it to be too dark. But this is so easy to use. If you've never tinted your eyebrows before or you go to the salon to get them done and you don't really want to spend money all the time on eyebrows, then you should get this. It is so good. You literally have the solution, which is a little liquid, and then you've also got like the dye cream, which is the colour, and you mix it together in the little pot that is inside and then you apply it with a little brush. It's so easy. So if you are a beginner, don't worry. All the instructions are in here. It is just so good. And the colour's really nice. It lasts for a really long time as well. It says here it lasts up to six weeks, which I probably do mine like once a month, I'd say, because I do feel like the colour does fade towards the end. And because my eyebrows are so light, it's really noticeable. So I do try and do it once a month. It says it takes under 15 minutes, which it does. It's so quick and up to 12 applications. I actually feel like you can get more than 12 applications out of this it's so good again if you've watched my vlog recently you'll know that i have included spf finally into my makeup routine it's taken me 23 years to realize how important spf is now i can thank tiktok for this because it's been all over tiktok and i just wanted like a really kind of thin SPF but I wanted it to be really high SPF so this is SPF 50 plus it's by Bondi Sands my favorite brand for fake tan and for sun cream as well I absolutely love them it is the water resistant four hours coconut beach sun cream lotion I think they do do a face version of this but I'm not too bothered if it's for body as well because if it's for body as well I can use this on holiday as well it smells incredible it just smells like holiday oh I can't even tell you how nice this smells if you go into boots I think they might do this in boots but I think I got this off of look fantastic um but if you go into boots and see this please smell it it is incredible so when I apply my makeup I even when I'm not wearing makeup I use SPF now like it's literally in my skincare routine it's in my makeup routine it is so important for you so if you don't use SPF I really recommend you do. Um, but yeah, I apply this before I apply my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So this is the first thing that I put onto my face, then I apply Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and then I go in with my makeup. And it is so good. Charlotte Tilbury is of course in this favourites video. I recently picked this up and I have been using it so much ever since. I'm really sad for the day that this runs out because it's actually quite pricey. But the price tag is definitely justified. It is a brilliant product. So I use this after my magic cream and then I use this and then I put my foundation on top. I've actually started applying this differently. I've used a few different ways to apply this, but the one that works best for me is actually applying it with my hands. I have never been that girl that applies makeup with her hands, never. But this actually spreads so nicely if you use it with your hands. So yeah, I just put a layer of this on my skin and then I apply the foundation and it makes my foundation looks so glowy i'm wearing it now so look at the glow i just love it it is a fab product and i can't wait to wear this on holiday it's just like a really nice summer staple so if you are thinking about splashing out on this because as i said it is quite pricey i think it's around the 35 pound mark so it's not cheap but it's really worth it or if you're thinking about getting it for your birthday or even for christmas i know christmas is a way off but it will come around quicker than you think it will and um, definitely recommend this and i have mine in the shade 4.5 the next product i have been loving is one that i've only recently picked up if you follow me on tiktok you will have seen this in one of my videos but i picked this up from superdrug and it's the bondi sands glow shimmer one day tan instant wash off flawless tan for face and body now I've only used this a handful of times but it is so good. I'm actually wearing it on my neck at the moment because I find that my tan, because I fake tan, when it starts to go a little bit like crusty, like tiger bread and I haven't scrubbed it off yet, it's really difficult for me to hide that because I don't want to then apply another layer of fake tan like one of the gradual tans because it just looks weird. If you tan, you'll know my struggle. So an instant tan is a really good idea. So when my neck starts to go a little bit like paler, which I find my neck tends to go the palest first, it's like my legs and my neck that struggle first. 
So this is really good because if my neck is pale, my face, like my foundation doesn't match. So this has been great. I just got it on my lip. It's got a bit of a weird smell. So when you first apply it, it does smell like a little bit fake tanny, but when it's all like rubbed in and that, the, the smell goes away, so it's absolutely fine. I can't remember the other one. I think the other one of this was a matte one, but I wanted the shimmer because I thought it would be so good for holiday. And I've just really been enjoying it. Obviously, the handful of times I've used it, I've really loved it. And I just wanted to tell you guys about it because I feel like this is a game changer. Why have I never thought of instant tan before? It's just never been something I've thought about, but definitely will be using this loads more i've then been loving the candle obviously i'm going to show you guys a candle that i recommend would this be one of my favorites videos if i didn't mention a candle this is the cloud nine palo santo and vanilla candle and it's from home sense it smells so summery like it smells really fresh and summery and i love it i love the smell of vanilla like you can properly smell vanilla in this it's a really nice creamy scent which i love and I find it really difficult to burn creamy scents in the summer because creamy scents remind me of autumn, they remind me of Christmas. But this is actually a really nice mixture, like it's creamy but smells summery, which I think is really hard to come by. I love it so much, but I, I'm so excited to start burning my autumn candles. But yeah, this one's a two-wick candle and it's $12.99 from HomeSense. Over the past few months, I've been using this perfume, so I didn't want to buy a really expensive perfume i have already got expensive perfumes but i only wear them for like when i'm actually going out or if i'm going for dinner all of those sorts of things but i still want to smell nice when i go to work but i don't want to use my expensive perfume so we actually saw this me and callum we saw it in aldi a couple of months ago now actually it might have been this one we saw first i picked up this one first which is the pomegranate one and it's an eau de parfum so is that how you say it eau de parfum eau de parfum i don't know the more i'm saying it the weirder it sounds but yeah this is the number three one from aldi and does that remind you of anything does that remind you of a certain expensive brand i know um and then callum went back in and he actually saw this one which is number 40 and it's myrrh and sweet tonka are these dupes or what i've actually been reaching for this one the most as you can see it's like nearly run out and i really need to get some more but it smells amazing i'm gonna spray some now i wish you could smell this it smells like a perfect perfume for like an evening it's an evening perfume it smells bloody delicious and I have been wearing this non-stop. I've had so many compliments on it. People always ask me what I'm wearing and I'm like, it's from Aldi. It was only like £6.99, £7.99. It's just so lovely. Now for something really random. Tea bags. These are my new best friend. Again, I've mentioned these in vlogs. I can't hide stuff from you guys. I just need to tell you in vlogs when I find stuff. This tastes like biscuits in a cup. So it's the Yorkshire Tea Multi Biscuit Brew and it says tastes like tea and biscuits. It really does. It is my favourite at the moment. I've got through like three packets of these in a really short space of time. I take them to work. I have them at home. I just love them. My mum actually got me onto these. She bought me a packet and I've not looked back since. They're just delicious. If you haven't tried these, I really recommend. And also someone commented on my video when I mentioned these, I think it must have been a vlog, and they said to try the jam and toast ones. Callum actually went out the other day and he surprised me with them. He brought me back some jam and toast um, tea and I have tried it, it's really, really nice, but it didn't knock these out of top spot but it is still really nice i just love anything like this take my word for it if you haven't tried this you need to and as always to conclude the video i'm gonna go on about books i haven't actually got a series to tell you guys about though because i haven't watched anything new if any of you guys have recommendations for me please let me know in the comments down below. I really want like a new series. I feel like at the moment I'm going over the same things over and over. I'm currently watching or re-watching Love Island season five with Molly May. Um, 
God, that one was dramatic, wasn't it? But it was definitely the best season. It's gone a bit downhill since then. But anyway, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know because I love to watch new serieses. Serieses. Is that a word? No, it's not. I love to watch new series. <laughs> Bloody hell, you wouldn't think English is my first language, would you? And then finally, I'm going to tell you about a book that I've been loving called The Mountain Is You. Now, the last time I talked to you guys about this book, I was like a few chapters in and now I've nearly finished it. And it is so good. It's very eye-opening, it's a very deep book. And there are a lot of times when I've had to stop and think about what I've just read and I'm kind of just like, wow. Um, but it is really good at making you think about how you think. It does talk about anxiety in there, it talks about procrastination, it talks about changing your life, changing your mindset. It is a very, very well written book as well. I like the way that it's written because it's in like chapters and like sub chapters. There's like titles for little sections which I really like because it helps me think clearly. I don't know if that makes sense but I really like the way that it's laid out. So it's actually on my Kindle. Um, it's just amazing. I'm trying to see who it's written by. It's written by Brianna West. I think that's how you say it, Brianna West. So I really recommend it if you struggle with procrastination, if you struggle with overthinking, if you struggle with mental health. It is a really great book and I've really enjoyed reading it. So I'm probably gonna end up finishing it today, which is probably the quickest I've ever got through a book recently. So I really recommend that if you're looking for a new read. So that is the end of today's video, everybody. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll post all of the links in the description box below if you do wanna check anything out. And yeah, that's it from me. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.